Hockey is an integral part of Canadian culture. And let's face it, in some parts of the country, it's almost become religion. But in an arena in Newmarket, Ontario, one group is teaching young hockey players there's room for a different kind of faith in the game. Paul Allen is Ontario team leader for Hockey Ministries International. Hockey Ministries International is a outreach to the hockey community, both here in Canada, in the United States, and around the world, which uh, gives our young hockey players, both boys and girls, an opportunity to come have a great on-ice experience, world-class instruction, and at the same time hear the good news about how much God loves them in Jesus. Don Lismer, a former pro hockey player, founded the ministry in the late 70s. He was playing in the Montreal Canadian organization and as a follower of Christ, he really had a heart for his teammates, just that they would also understand the good news. So with a roster of 27 players, he started the first boys camp. And since then, with roughly 2,000 campers every summer, the camps have gone international and co-ed. Well, women's hockey is huge, so uh, we have some, uh, some camps in the Boston area and uh, in other areas that are specifically for girls, and in other camps like this, we're able to accommodate both boys and girls. But it's not just about technique. Hockey Ministries International, or HMI, also aims to teach life skills, he says. You're not going to like everything that you're, you're going to be asked to do in life, and so there's going to be things that the on-ice um, uh, instructor is going to ask you to do that's going to be very difficult and you just have to work yourself through it. The whole aspect of community, getting along with other people, being a teammate. Allen admits, for some, it's difficult to reconcile hockey's violent image with the message of Jesus, but there are parallels between them, he says. Play within the rules, play aggressively, play very, very tough, and uh, there's not actually any any difficulty reconciling that. I think it's when it goes over the line and it, and it, and it goes, breaks the rules that that's when there probably is a bit of a, uh, a, a conflict between what the gospel would uh, call us to and it's, and it's just allowing the player to find you know, what, what is it and how is it that uh, the Lord would have them play. HMI has also been a presence in the National Hockey League for decades and they made it to the pros through one important player, Chapel. Our chapel program is uh, where we engage the elite level of hockey. We are well respected in the, at the National Hockey League level, the American Hockey League level, all of the pro levels in the, in the United States. Which wasn't always the case, Alan admits. In the past, he says faith was unwelcome in the locker room. Many of the people that, that have gone ahead of us in hockey ministries have paid quite a price because there was a deep suspicion about that faith would make players soft or religion was just for uh, little old ladies that went to Sunday school or something like that. But since then, many teams and players have realized that what happens outside the arena can affect what happens on the ice. I think the nature of the world today where there's a spiritual vacuum in so many areas, that translates right into the sports world. We set up chapel programs where we allow the best hockey players in the world to have an opportunity to explore the big questions of faith. For a fee, campers spend three hours on the ice every day for a week, power skating, skill building, and scrimmaging. Then comes dry land training, games, and breakout sessions in the afternoon at the Salvation Army's Jackson Point Camp. The partnership between HMI and the Salvation Army is only three years old, but one that camp director, Greg McInnes, says is a great fit. It's the facilities that, uh, that are really wonderful that they may not get in every other location where they're in a school, school setting. And not just the facilities alone, there's about, I think, 160 acres here. HMI brings in uh, the wonderful hockey guests and ensures the hockey training and uh, together we make sure that the gospel is presented and it's followed up. Sharing the message of God's love is one of the distinctive features of camp. And to illustrate what Faith on Ice looks like, HMI drafts former and current players from the NHL and other major leagues as on ice instructors. Former NHL left wing Mark Osborne has been involved with the ministry for more than a decade. Everybody is passionate about hockey here in Canada but that whole curiosity of, you know, is there a God? Does he care about me? And, you know, as a former player, I can 
you know, certainly testify to the fact is, is that God has made a difference in my life and I want to be able to share that with young hockey players. But he admits, talking about God isn't always easy, with balance often on the back bench in the world of elite hockey. And especially for the guy turning pro because, uh, man, you get so fixated on, uh, on all the accolades and, uh, you know, the money that's being earned and, and all sorts of other things that come along with, you know, just being a professional athlete. And, and it's easy to forget about some of those other things in life. And while the NHL, for some, means fame and fortune, there is also a less glamorous side, he says, something you can't see from the stands. There are challenges. There, you know, these guys face a, an enormous amount of pressure, and there's loneliness, and there's disappointment, and there's getting traded, there's setbacks, you know, dealing with death and all that kind of stuff. I mean, those are matters of the heart that uh, you think that people are immune to in the game, but believe me, those are the questions that guys are asking and want to know more about. For these young hockey stars, getting a chance to skate with professionals while exploring their faith has made this camp experience a memorable one. You get to meet like a lot of friends, I think, and you learn a lot of stuff about hockey and a lot of stuff about Christ. I really like the skating instruction. Uh, it taught me a lot about power in your legs and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's going to help with my stride and with my speed later on. Yesterday, BJ Crombie and shot on me and he actually missed so it shows that sometimes awesome. <laughs> sometimes the pros can't always be the best but it shows that there's other guys out there who also are are like you and can't do everything right and those are the kinds of lessons Ontario team leader Paul Allen hopes all of the campers walk away with the challenges the temptations the disappointments the pain, the successes, the failure, that it's all part of hockey and it's all part of life. But that you can live a life and that you can have that, those sorts of experience and that there's meaning, there's purpose, and, there's, uh, and, and there can be just the presence of God in it. Hockey Ministries International will be hosting more camps next summer. In the meantime, Alan says the plan is to continue teaching young players to go for the gold and that how you live your life and who you live it for off the end matters. In Newmarket, Ontario, Bridget Entry, 100 Huntley Street.